You know there's an old saying, two wrongs don't make a right, and yeah, it's true. It's a very, very, very simple idea. I'm sure you've all heard it bandied about as children, right? Two wrongs don't make a right. If somebody pushes you, the immediate response shouldn't be push them back. If somebody cuts you off in traffic, hitting them with your car is not the best response. There are better, more logical and reasonable responses to being wronged than getting revenge. Now I've talked before about revenge and how that's a cycle and all of that, but quite simply, you can head off all of that problem with the cycle of revenge and everything just by accepting that other people, they might wrong you once in a while, and if it's a bad enough wrong, there are ways to seek proper redress with the legal system, you know, by social pressure of just talking about what happened. This guy's a real dick, you know, blah 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 happen, and just tell people. Social pressure works wonders. What generally doesn't change anyone's opinions is punching them in the face. Surprising, I know. You'd think as soon as you hit somebody in the head, right, they'd totally just be like, I must have been wrong, I got punched in the face. But in reality, it doesn't work that way. Usually, you just piss somebody off, and now they both think they're right, and you hit them. Nothing good comes of that. And however level you want to take this to, an immediate redress of being wronged by wronging someone back does not actually do anything positive. You know, that eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, that applies to this sort of circumstance. All that happens here is you start the cycle of vengeance I talked about before. Not only is that not helpful, it involves you in a furthering of violence, which no one wants to be in violence. I'm pretty sure of that. No one actually wants to be wrapped up in violence. And if you push and push enough with this two wrongs thing, where someone wrongs you, you wrong them back, they turn against you, and f back and forth, it's, it, it's going to end badly. You're building up that cycle to its conclusion. And trust me when I say you do not want to do that. So instead of doing these sorts of actions which just create the potential for more harm, Step back. More than likely, the wrong you have been dealt is immediate and will pass. And there'll be no permanent consequences to it. Someone cuts you off in traffic, sure it pisses you off at the moment, but ten minutes from now, it, it's already gone, right? It, it happened. You might be a little annoyed still, depending on how your day's been, but really, it didn't hurt you. It didn't destroy your life. It didn't actually do anything more than inconvenience you and annoy you. And you'll find most wrongs actually fall in that category with some perspective. So before you want to jump off and do some action which is going to actually make the whole thing worse, maybe take stock of how much you've actually been wrong, realize that wronging them back won't fix it, and if it is a bad enough thing, seek proper redress through legal authority or other means that don't involve hitting somebody or immediately wronging them back on the same juvenile level they have done to you. Just something to think about.